Well, howdy diddly and dandy there, chums. It is I, Captain Stephen XO, and today, chums, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make bread into nanites. Now, I did a video previously on how to make poo into nanites using these plants here. So these give us feceum. Now, this is going to give us far more feceum than I need. Now, I only want to make 200 bread to turn in, and I'm also going to need some frost wort. So here we go. Let's grab the frost wort, and we've also got the feceum. Now, last time we turned the feceum into Mordite using our large refiners. We're not going to do that this time. Heck no, we're not. Right, so we're going to go on straight on over to the nutrient processors. And first of all, we're going to grab that feceum. I'm going to split it down by four. So split, split, and split again. And yeah, I'm going to stick that into there. Chikapow! And that's going to be turning into yeast. I didn't Oh, I didn't don't I didn't hit start on that one, did I? Here you go. Let's put that in. Let's be, hit begin. Chikapow! Let's go back to that one. Let's start that one going. Oopsie. There we go. Wild yeast is what it's creating out of that feceum. And let's get the other two stacked up. So here we go. Although that it says that it's going to do 100 at a time, it doesn't. It only does 50. So when I see these reach 50%, if I go over to them, it would glitch back to being 50 rather than 100 it's pretty weird. Anyway, I'm going to leave those going. I think they're a little bit broken. I think they need to fix that. But there we go. I'm going to leave these going. I'll be right back with you guys through the power of editing. I'll see you in a mo. Heck yes. Righto, so now let's go back through. It's, there we go. What the wild yeast. You see what I mean? It jumped back to 50. And I can just hit go again. Now I'm not going to need this much wild yeast. I only need really 200 of it. So yeah, I could stop the process right there. So now I'm going to be doing the frost crystal. So yeah, again, I need um, 200. So I only need 50 in each of these really. So let's get this going. There we go. Let's chuck that into there. Chuck pal. And away it goes. So as long as it's over 50 in the left hand side. So they'll put 60 in that one. Here we go, let's split that in half. 91, yeah, awesome. So I'll be getting 50 out of there. Fantastical. And then over to here. And again, again. Chicka pow pow, chicka pum pum. Away you go. Right, well, I'll be right back with you guys through the power of editing. And then we'll move on to the next step, I guess. Okay, right, so here we go. It's now finishing off. So all I need to do is grab this out of there. Come on, end off. Yeah, I'm going to take that. I'm going to put that into my um, exosuit for now. And then I can chuck the 50 in. There we go. And we're going to get refined flour. Awesome. Now let's go through here and let's do the same again. So where are you, my little glass grains? There we go. Let's split that to 50. Chikapow. There we are. Refined flour. And here we are once again. Into here. Let's find that. We're going to have a bit of a surplus. You know what? I might just delete the surplus because, yeah, out of just getting the four plants, that's all I really need. Mainly because handing it into Kronos, any more than doing 200 in a batch, it's, it's like watching paint dry. I fall a freaking sleep. I really do. It's terrible. It really is. That's the only painful part about this whole process, chums, is handing it into Kronos. Handing it into old crony arse is a pain in the neck. Right, OK, so now I can put in my 50 refined flour and my 50 yeast from the um, turd that we put in there. You know, the, the old corporate, um, yeah, whatever it was. Here we go. Let's grab this. Let's put that into there. The feceum. The feceum. And there we go. Wild yeast and refined flour. And you can see there that the end result is going to be dough. Now that's not quite bread. Dough is good, but we want bread. So here we go. Let's put in the wild yeast and the refined flour. That's going to make some dough. And then I'll be right back with you. And I'll show you what you do with the dough. The last step is the easiest step. So here we go. Let's chuck that into there. Chicka boom. And away it goes. Lovely jubbly. The dough is on the break. Awesome. Right. So let's head on over. Now I have got some surplus in here somewhere. Cargo. Right, so I don't want good old Kronos to be sniffing out my wild yeast. So let's bin that off. Let's get rid of all the surplus. I mean, I could have put it into storage and I could have spun it up another day. But Kronos is extremely good at, sh at sniffing out stuff, even in storage. You have to put it in the personal refiner storage or something, just so he doesn't find it, or in your vaults or something. But even if you've got your freighter in, sometimes you can sniff it out. It's freaking mind-blowing. He's got an amazing nose. Right, so here we go. This is the final step now, people. So I just want to grab the dough. I want to put it over there, and that's going to make bread. Heck yes, I've got a bun in the oven. Oh, the smell of bread is freaking lovely. Right, so let's grab the dough, let's put that over there, and make some more bread. You wouldn't believe that, you know, 
some frost crystal that you normally turn into glass and then um, you know some Fecium that is basically creature poo that's grown out of a plant would make bread. You know, that, to me that's like glass. Well, shite with glass in it, basically, isn't it? But there we go. Um, it's making bread. Fantastic. So yeah, I'm going to make all this lovely bread. I'm going to have 200 bread, and we're going to go turn that into Kronos. I'm going to see what we get. So so far we've had some good results with the cooking, but I'll see you guys over at the next yas with Kronos. See you in a bit. There you go. I'm over at Mr. Crony Arse right now. So I'm going to do what I normally do, people. I'm going to show you how many units, I mean, nanites I've got. I've got 136879. Let's just say 136. And uh, yet yeah, we've got all this stuff over here. So we've got 200, well, yeah, 200 bread. Okay, awesome. And uh, yeah, let's let's um, do what I normally do. So let's go into third person, uh, first person mode. And let's make sure my setting is turned off for uh, holding down to accept. So we go to general options. And there it is. Hold to confirm is disabled. Brilliant. So now I can hand this stuff in super, super quick to good old crony ass. I say super, super quick. It, it still isn't. I mean, handing in 200 odd items. For every 50, you're looking at about 15 minutes. So, yeah. So... 50 times 40. Yeah, it, it's going to take it's going to take me a while. I mean, this is going to be I reckon near on an hour to handle this stuff in. So here we go. It's it's good that you can just throw on YouTube or something on another device, like on your phone or something, while you're doing this, because it, it is tedious as hell. So you know, I've already done like three there, and I'm all I'm already freaking bored. Okay, come on. I must have some sort. Of, I must have some sort of def deficiency or something, because I, I I really do honestly fall asleep doing this. I'm nodding off. My eyes get sleepy. I, I, I can't do it. Here you go. Let's hand in the last three now. So yeah, I have edited this quite heavily. It, it took me about an hour to hand all this stuff in. So here we go. And I think this might be the last one. Present bread. Go on. Oh, we gagged on that one. Lovely. Okay, one more try. And yeah, well, that's it. Done. Dilly done. Fantastic. Let's just jump back into my overview. Here we go. Menu, menu, menu. And there I am. I'm back. Right. Let's have a look how many nanites I have now. So it was 136 before. And I'm now on 146. Now it was 1368 something. So it's just shy of 10,000 nanites in an hour, which is pretty freaking mind blowing for a load of bread. Heck yes. We gave him bread and he gave us dough well nanites <laughs> yes he did awesome anyway i hope you guys try this at home and i'll see you again soon goodbye goodbye and goodbye again i want to say a massive great big thank you for watching if you like what you see please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell and thank you to my backers over on patreon and on youtube membership if you do want to support this channel, you could just not skip my adverts. That throws revenue down my avenue. Or stay with Captain Steve a little bit longer and hit something on this screen. Heck, yes. There's also merch on this screen now. Awesome.